Man, I pulled up to Highland and I left my freaking media badge at home. Hey, kids, this is a lesson. Make sure that you guys come prepared. I am out here to check out these two young quarterbacks over here at Highland, um, catching a Desert Ridge game because you never know what kind of gems you will find at Desert Ridge. Uh, their program is loaded with them. My man Greg Bienvenu came through uh, their freshman program. Uh, this team is uh, super, super tough. I cannot wait to watch these guys get loose out here. Uh, make sure that you guys subscribe to the vlogs. JustChili.tv. Make sure that you guys show some love. Uh, follow your guy at JustChili. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Um, I'm going to try to walk into this game. Let's hope that I don't get in trouble. Maybe Gage Daly. Maybe Caleb Lomu. Maybe, uh, you know, one of these guys. Uh, I saw my guy, uh, Fisher Kamek, just committed. So maybe he'll uh, stop through, check in on the vlog. But, hey, your boy almost got in trouble. All right, finally making it to the field, man. I hope they don't check for credentials over here. It's usually a freshman game. Usually I'm okay. I'm gonna try to catch up with this kid, Bryson Landon. I wanna see Bryson Landon do some work. Need to see Greg Toller Jr. make it happen. These Highland Hawks, hey, usually they got gems on the freshman level. That's how I found Gage Daily. You know, this is what I do. Be right back, I got a mask up. I already here, was here for an hour and a half this morning in freshman. <laughs> What a shocker, a hard running running back here at Highland. They literally grow on trees over here. They literally grow on trees. Bryson Landon finds my guy Greg Toller Jr. for the uh, easy touchdown. I, my man was just literally just walking um, real slow like expecting a Highland victory tonight. Let's see what happens on Friday night though. Hopefully I can catch up with some of those guys on varsity. Bubble! Highland defense wanted a longer break on the bench. They need more water, more Gatorade. Uh, they decided to bring the offense back out. Uh, it was a fumble. Man. Highland hungry. <laughs> Highland jumping out quick, 14 nothing lead. Uh, this game is barely two minutes old. Clock might be getting some cardio tonight. Might be home in time to make it for that eight o'clock sports center. <laughs> I didn't think it could happen again, but it happened again. Desert Ridge gonna figure this out. They gonna fix this. I know they will. Uh, in the meantime, Highland gonna try to make their way into the end zone right now. Bryson Landon threw that touchdown. Um, Bryson looking for kind of good, man. Uh, let's see how Desert Ridge responds. Man, I can't believe what's going on right now, though. It is 21 to nothing. Get it! Get it! Hey, Hamilton made onside kicks the cool thing to do, and uh, now they're practicing it everywhere. I'm just kidding. Part of uh, Highlands Playbook, I've seen them do this before. They want to get their guys uh, some reps, and hey, it's going to happen in the first half, though. Hey, Desert Ridge up front, they're starting to look a little bit better on this D-line. Uh, I think they've been inspired a little bit by uh, being down 21 to nothing. Hey, you never know. I've seen crazier comebacks. I was literally just at one. At the end of the first quarter, it is 21 to nothing uh, Highland. Uh, it kind of looked like they were going to run away with it, but Desert Ridge kind of picking it up a little bit. I see AJ Dutch over walking around on the sideline. Going to catch up with him probably at halftime, but hey, these boys from Highland, uh, it is go time. And this freshman team, they look pretty good, man. I like this kid Greg Toller a lot. Uh, Bryson Landon looking good at quarterback. They got a couple other kids, number seven, number four. They run hard. No surprise. That's what they do here at Highland.
<laughs> there go that boy again, Greg Toller, uh, running into the end zone, just outrunning everybody. It's getting out of hand. I think we're going to get this cardio on this clock. Desert Ridge definitely looking better in the trenches probably in the last like eight, 10 minutes of play. Um, looks like they've got some butterflies out and uh, they're ready to go a lot more aggressive. Hey, let's see what they can do in the second quarter. Hit that Derrick Henry stiff arm. <laughs> Highland doing those Highland things, running touchdowns in the end zone. It is 35 to nothing right now. Second quarter is almost over. Ref is in the way, but I think that play is going to take us to halftime. And uh, I'm going to catch up with uh, AJ Dutch over in a second. I'm going to go find him because he's on these sidelines, chilling, hanging out uh, before we got to go home and do some homework. What makes this uh, Highland offensive line so good? It's you, Caleb, Cooper, and McCool when he comes back. Uh, we just bring a lot of heart to the game. You know, a lot of people just kind of count us as the underdogs, but we always bring a lot of dog to the fight, and we won't stop until the clock's at zero in the fourth quarter. That is a lie. Who is saying that y'all are an underdog? Open bound Highland. Who really thinks that y'all is an underdog? Super disrespectful. I'm told every day. Is it harder having a super threaty dual threat quarterback like Gage Daly running around there and you gotta hold your box like 10 seconds longer than is required? Nah, it's actually it's actually nice because sometimes when we miss our blocks or something, which is very rarely, <laughs> he's able to save us. Now for the record, I gotta know. You guys had the week off last week while Hamilton was playing Bishop Gorman. Were you guys low-key cheering for Hamilton because they are the Arizona team? I mean, we kind of want to, we kind of like to limit the undefeated teams, but yeah, we were. We, were, we liked that Hamilton put AZ on the map pretty much, so it was kind of cool that they were able to knock them off in what, 65 seconds left in the fourth quarter? Hey, hey, sometimes it just takes 65 seconds. Big matchup this week versus Desert Ridge. Everybody knows Lance Holt's squad going to UW. Um, which one of y'all wants that matchup? Which oh, one I want them all day. All day. Man, you I know it. Show you, you know it. Guys look. Hey, this Toler kid is really something else. Super dynamic. I don't know how you want to use him on Bar City. Uh, you'll just have to wait and see. Soon. It's going to happen sooner than later, though. Hey, and I love this quarterback that you got over there. And you always seem to have these hard runners. Just pure hard runners that will take the ball and just try to go through somebody. You guys grow them on trees out here? Uh, well, I, we joke because we have a lot of really big families with a lot of the same last names. Like you said, we always have a Colmore in our program. So, you know, we don't. And a Kamek now from yeah, right here. Yeah. So the joke is we don't recruit a Highland, we just breed them. So there hey, you go. nothing wrong with that. <laughs> hey, keep the community one, right? So make this happen. Bring them all to Highland. Don't let them go nowhere else. There you go. Run, run, run! Hey! Pass! Second half going to start the way the first half kind of went. Um, Highland's going to get this ball back immediately. And we're going to see uh, this Highland offense come back out, go to work. I can't imagine we're going to see uh, the first stringers playing much longer. I'm just saying. Dad's over there laughing. Y'all know what that's about. All right, the game is officially uh, out of pocket right now. It is 42 to nothing. Uh, the clock is getting its cardio in. Uh, more cardio than I'm getting in. Desert Ridge really does look like they're doing better on defense up front. Um, they're just going to have to figure out how to spread that around, uh, get their secondary uh, right, and uh, make some adjustments. But there goes my boy, touchdown Toller again, uh, peeling off for another touchdown, another nice run. Toller got that juice. It's 42 to nothing. Highland making some changes. Looks like they're bringing in Greg Toller, the super athlete, having him take some snaps. Man, I, ju I just have bad feelings. I just have a bad feeling about this. K 
kid's gonna peel off and add like four more touchdowns. They don't even know it. Gavin Priestall's in that pass from uh, Greg Toller Jr. Like I said, man, I, I just have a bad feeling. More touchdowns. More touchdowns. They breeding these hitters over here. They breeding some hitters. That one's gonna take us to the fourth quarter. Highland leads 49 to nothing. Maybe they put one more up, I don't know, man, but we gonna get out of this game soon here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Anyways, Desiree went for it on fourth and nine. Kind of dangerous because they're not even in like Highland territory. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I, I don't know what the deal is. Toller keeps it and uh, just runs that touchdown in himself, runs through the entire defense. Uh, Toller has had a hell of a game. I think he's had four touchdowns and one passing touchdown. That's a hell of a stat line. The photographer here hasn't been keeping track and I asked her to, but she's got all the pictures, so we'll see. I don't know if it was good. No, it's fine. It's actually, you know, it's funny because Coach like, I should have had me. You're right. We are not focused on the same thing. <laughs> no, we're we not. But I do think that special teamers have feelings. Absolutely. I'm the we're only good. one defending we're kickers. People too. Hey, we're people. kickers are people too. Absolutely. Don't forget that. Shout out to my guy Austin McNamara and Coach <laughs> Mack. That play will end the game. Thank God. Final score is 56 to nothing. Uh, Highland will not be losing any sleep tonight. And they're probably gonna get some free Bosa. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Bosa for everyone. Bosa for everyone, all levels. Just kidding, only the guys that get the donuts. So, shout out to uh, Highland, they put in that work. Uh, shout out to Coach McNamara for always taking care of his boy. And hopefully there's some Bosa left for me. Um, your boy Chili, I am going to possibly catch up with superstar Greg Toller. If not, that is the end of tonight's vlog uh, from Highland. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna come back out here. Oh, oh, you already know. Hey, how much of the game did you actually see? I got here like half time. Okay, so you got to watch the Greg Toller show going for a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. What was your favorite part of playing freshman football here at Highland? Setting the school record for uh, best like season record. Dude, is there is there a quarterback record here that you don't own yet? Um, I, I don't think so. Hey right, Ryan Fitzpatrick, move on over. All right, any matchups that you're looking forward to that are on the schedule? Um, obviously, that's Hamilton Chandler, Basha, but anyone in particular? You know, just those three in a row, Basha, Hamilton, Chandler. I mean, everyone's excited for those. I mean, those are the top. I mean, those are the open teams. So we want to show what we can do against them. Hey, you've been pushing it out there for a while. Your offensive line is the best in the state. What makes them so much better than everybody else? Uh, just we got experience. I mean, even though we're young, we've been they've been starting since they were young. And I mean, we got what one or two seniors. I think we have one senior, and then the rest are underclassmen. But and you don't even have Makua back too. yet. Not yet. Hey, when he comes when back. He comes back. Hey, hey. Watch out, it's gonna be a problem. All right, hey, looking for you guys in the open. You gonna make sure it happens? We'll make sure.